Clang, clang. Clank. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why it? You don't cheers with water? It's bad luck. I'll be fine, hmm? Clank, clang. Clank, clang. clang. I'm fine. Oh. Somebody get me a damn glass of wine. Get him a wine. Get him a wine. Who's down to party? I got a boombox. I got peppermints. I've got a ton of cocaine. Okay. I like that background you got. I know. That's, is that a fire? <laughs> Real moody. <laughs> like, All right. This is my uh, living room. This is my fireplace. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Well, first, um, Gracie and Aaron, I'm so glad to be talking to you because I got to talk to Echo and Nicole like a couple weeks ago. Uh, okay. But we all you know the stories the show is based off our actual friend group so we've all really? been diving into that yeah wine i was bar. wondering yeah. about this um this wine bar on the east side and one thing that i learned that i think is really awesome is that grand crew is based on you guys's real friendship group yeah, yeah more well, or less yeah, well, yeah their yeah. friendship group really <laughs> their friendship group we were new we were new to the group the new but one. now we're part of the group yeah we were the new oh. ones um, oh, okay. So you're but, the new guy. Okay. I, yeah, so, so, Echo, so Echo, Nicole, Phil, and Carl all knew each other before the show. And then I knew Echo and Aaron kind of knew Nicole. And then we were added into, you know, this group. And now we're all very close friends. And and season two definitely has storylines pulled from like our real lives and our, and our real relationships with each other. But um, yeah, that's, I think, part of the chemistry that, that there's such a history with, between them. And then we kind of came in and I think all gel together really well and 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 are basically family now and hang out all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I love that. One thing I really want to know though is Faye and Anthony's character. Um since you guys are new to the group, I don't know if you have any scoop on who is slow burning their relationship or their like fire for each other um in the friend group. Is that a real thing or is oh, that in the real just life group? Oh, yeah. real life? No. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> no, in I don't think that's how life, real life. In the real life group, there's no romance. It's just, it's all platonic um, friendships. We are, besides Aaron, though, we are all single. <laughs> so we are all dating. We share a lot of dating stories. Um, uh, but there's no, like, there's no romance in our real group. Well, let's talk about dating, um, Gracie. So last episode, we saw Faye go on some horrible dates that yeah. I heard, <laughs> like, looking at that episode, it looked like somebody pissed in the uh, dating pool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have you have you had any dating horror stories? I mean, yeah, some of that was based on my real life dating. <laughs> so um, a guy a who wants to eat her face, that was a real guy. No, I'm just joking. No, the dating <laughs> The eating of the face was definitely a writer's room um a discovery but the idea of like say you know being married and then single and then not having sex for a while and then dating and that couldn't have any like couldn't find anyone to just have sex with her is loosely based <laughs> on my real life phil you know phil and i had this conversation i'm being real honest right now but like when, when, I, when I was newly single you know, I had just come out of a very long-term relationship and I did not want to get into a relationship. I literally just wanted to like date and have sex and have fun. And it was really hard to find men <laughs> who were like willing to just like be casual. I think a lot of men, especially in Los Angeles, they think you want more than you might want. And I was like, you know, I don't want to have sex with a stranger, but I also don't need you to be my boyfriend. Like, let's just like, have some fun. Um, have and friends with benefits. I, I cannot, friends with benefits. I cannot wait you. to see your. I cannot wait to see your DMs after this interview airs. Like <laughs> they're gonna be like, oh, oh, it's cool, baby. I'm gonna do it. I'm in a different stage now. Now I want a boyfriend. No, <laughs> no I was, it was. Um, it was funny because I had that conversation with Phil, and so when I saw it in the script, I just started cracking up, laughing. I'm like, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And and with you, um, Aaron, um, Anthony's character is not married on Grand Crew, but you're married in real life. And the episode that just <laughs> sent me on the floor is you like having a hard time being the best, best man. Um, any situations where any of your best man, best men dropped the ball or were just like doing too much, like just let me live my <laughs> life and figure this out. 
Um, well, well, first and foremost, I'm not yet married. So I do oh, want to okay. make that decision. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but it's all good. Soon come, soon come. Um, I, I do have a lovely lady in my life and we've been together for, for a while. So I, I do want to say that. But um, I think I've probably been the best man. Like my brother got married and I think um, I still I still kind of regret my speech. I think I might've been a little too drunk at that time. And um, I really wish I could get that speech back. But uh, <laughs> But in fact, I haven't even really looked at, like they have like a wedding video. You know what I mean? And uh, it's my older brother. And uh, he sent it to me and I'll, I'll watch up until the speech because I'm just so embarrassed still by the lack of preparedness. Uh, so I hate to say it, but I think I have been that that best man that needed to just fall back a little bit. Um, yeah. No, I love that. I love it. I, I oh, have such it? a good, I, I, I love that the fact that you're honest about it, because a lot of times people are like, nah, I'm the best man and I did a great job, you know, a stand up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Up until like, that no point, problem, I was killing like, it. <laughs> no, up until that point, I was killing it, man. I had it, I had it together. We, we know we went on the, on the, on the, uh, the bachelor trip and everything. I mean, I was killing it. I did, I did my thing, but I just couldn't get across the finish line. You know what I mean? I got a little too it's excited. Okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. I mean, we don't always have the perfect moments, but I love the way that you guys have, um, you know, come together and really like you give me everything we me and my boyfriend watch the show religiously. It's our jam. And, you know, we try to get a glass of wine um, while we watch it. But before I leave, I have to know what you guys favorite wine and then I, I won't ask again. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I'll go first. Um, go ahead. Crazy. No, okay. You're you're kind of cutting in and out of me, so I can't hear when you start talking. Oh, okay. Um, I think Brown Estate has this wine. It's called Chaos Theory. Uh, Brown Estate is a, is a, is a black owned winery as well out of Napa. Uh, so that's probably my favorite wine right now. And I think it's like a I think it's like a red blend. Like I know there's a Cab Sauv in it, maybe like a Zinfandel, uh, but it's a blend of sorts, and it's, it's really really good. And we actually feature them on our show as well. So if you look behind the bar where where uh, Faye works, uh, you can sometimes see it there. Yeah, oh. I think right now all the wines behind the bar are like that are featured are from black owned vineyards, which is cool. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm still an orange girl. I love an, a glass of orange wine, which is like a light citrusy or funky kind of wine. Um, and I was recently introduced to a Lambrusco by Aaron and Phil, our Phil, our creator. Um, and I'm really into that, too, which is like a bubbly red. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for talking to me today. It's been a pleasure. I hope we can do it in person. Um, and Grand Crew, Grand Crew, Grand Crew, keep it going. Yeah, thank you. Great claim, great claim. <laughs>